Merin of Clan Nel Toth versus Taigam Ojitai Master. Yeah, it's a very good commander that I don't see very often. Going to have to bin that because we don't have any mana in hand. <laughs> well, we don't have mana there either, do we? Let's mulligan again. Okay, well, this is not going to be a very good game for us, is it? Let's keep that. And then we've got to put a couple of cards on the bottom. We'll go for both of the creatures. And then if we get into a black mana, we can switch on Gaia's Cradle. And go for the Viscerous Seer, then Life from the Loam. We've also got Sakura Tribe Elder there. Just get down the high market, just in case we get into a forest. If we get into a black mana, we can go for Viscerous Seer. And then, like I say, that will switch on the guy's cradle. And we'll be able to get some stuff going from there. But I'm not hopeful that we're going to do anything this game. I don't think... Reflecting Pool will add green off of the Gaia's Cradle because it actually can't produce green unless there's a creature in play. Yeah, we'll actually test that theory if we don't get into a land next turn. I'll drop the Reflecting Pool and see if it taps for green. Yeah, still not getting into land, so let's drop the Reflecting Pool. And, oh, that can actually add green because the Gaia's Cradle could add green. So, yeah, that's actually useful to us. Let's attempt to get down Sakura Tribe Elder. And our opponent sees that we are struggling on mana, so they're going for a counter on that. Decided to go for the Tribe Elder over the Life from the Loam because I want to get counter magic out of my opponent's hand. And I don't think they will counter us casting a Life from the Loam without going for any lands. And then when we dredge it out, what would have been this turn, I think then would be the time that they counter it. Let's just go for our life from the loam here. Then Monastery Mentor comes in. That will create monk tokens whenever our opponent casts a non-creature spell. We will dredge back the life from the loam. Oh look, and we've got lands all of a sudden. Yeah, so we would have drawn into a polluted delta there. Let's see if our opponent will counter our life from the loam. Nope, they allow us to have mana. Very kind of them. Let's go for a Bayou with the Polluted Delta, and we'll cast the Carrion Feeder. Uh, counter and Surveil 1. I'm actually completely fine with them countering a Carrion Feeder. They probably want to keep us out of Sack Outlets, which is... Yeah, that's usually the right call against a Graveyard deck. Narset Transcendent is most likely card advantage. And then we're going to take a hit for 5. With the Monastery Mentor. Let's dredge again. And we get into a forest, a Buried Alive and a Mind Slicer. We'll just go in for our Life from the Loam again. We'll grab a Fetch and a Forest. And that went through really quickly. Now if we get a Black Source with the Polluted Delta. Let's just go for a Swamp. Uh, we can go for the Viscerous Seer. Yeah, I was hoping to get down Recurring Nightmare. We don't have quite enough mana, unfortunately. If we could go for Recurring Nightmare onto Mind Slicer, that wouldn't be the worst. So we'll just set up with Viscerous here. Hope it doesn't get blown up by anything. We can't get down the Awakening Zone either. Our mana has been awful this game. Down comes Tygam, Ojitai Master. We're not going to be countering any of their instants and sorceries. Now, we're not going to go for the dredge with Life from the Loam. We just get into a forest. Let's go for the Dryad Arbor because I think I'm going to go for Recurring Nightmare here. Recurring Nightmare enters and we will go after our Mind Slicer, getting rid of the Dryad Arbor. And then during our opponent's draw step, we will sacrifice the Mind Slicer, and that will have each player discard their hand. Now we're still going to have to face down this army that our opponent has, and yeah, that is nearly at the limit break. That will stop us casting non-creature spells at minus nine. 
So I don't think we're going to be doing anything this game. Let's just get down the recurring nightmare so that we don't lose that. Our opponent draws during their draw step and then we will sacrifice the Mind Slicer. And we'll all discard our hands. We'll get a Scry with Viscera Seer. There's a Reclamation Sage. That does nothing for us. Our opponent is just going to be drawing a card with Narset, hopefully. Look at the top card. If it's a non-creature on land, you reveal it and put it into your hand. Looks like they had a land on top, so we know what they're drawing into next turn. They're going to swing in for a 3-4. I am going to dredge with Life from the Loam, because we want to get some big stuff in our graveyard. But we milled into absolutely nothing. This is one of the worst games with Merrin I've ever played. Yeah, look at that. We've dredged a few times this game and there are no creatures there. We'll get down our Merrin and then go for Life from the Loam. Onto Dryad Arbor, Polluted Delta and a Forest. Then we'll play the Dryad Arbor to Chump Block. And we might as well sacrifice the Dryad Arbor to get a free death counter here. We'll bring back the Dryad Arbor at the beginning of the end step. A Worm Coil Engine on top is very good. Yeah, we might be able to get some shenanigans going with that, actually. So it's Dryad Arbor. And I think our opponent's drawing into a land. They might be drawing into a creature. What do they have to reveal? If it's a non-creature, non-land, you may reveal it, so they might have just chosen not to reveal it. But I think we're seeing an emblem here. Or they might tick up again and then go for the emblem next turn. Either way, I don't think we're doing anything about Narset. Yep, there's the emblem. From now on, we cannot cast non-creature spells. And that is relevant with a recurring nightmare in play. Just going to take a hit for three here. And then a Niblis of Frost. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, tap a target creature and opponent controls. Uh, yeah, that just freezes a creature. And then we know what we're drawing into. We do not want to mill the worm coil engine. Let's just play the forest. Get down the worm coil engine. And then I think we can sacrifice the worm coil engine. And then bring it back with recurring nightmare. And that will leave us with more tokens in play. And it will get us some death triggers as well. Really treading water here, trying to stay in this game. We'll put a land on the bottom. And then Recurring Nightmare after the Worm Coil Engine. And we'll just get rid of the Dryad Arbor. We cannot cast the Recurring Nightmare again, so we're not bothered about discarding that. Now what I think I'm going to do here actually is sacrifice the Lifelink Worm. And Frexian Tower we don't need either, we'll put that on the bottom. I'm just after going for the Mind Slicer here. And we needed four counters to do that, so let's grab the Mind Slicer. We've still got a stop on our opponent's draw. Now let's go for another Scry. And Mind Slicer. Oh, and our opponent decides to scoop it up. Uh, yeah, I wasn't looking to do that for the rest of the game. Maybe another turn or two. Just trying to edge my way up to enough counters so that we can start reanimating Worm Coil Engine every single turn. Let's see what we would have scryed. Uh, let's not see what we would have scryed because Modo's not going to allow that. Yeah, a really, really sketchy game with Merrin. And our opponent had every right to win that one, but luckily we got into Mind Slicer and managed to have them get rid of their entire hand. What did they discard anyway? We never looked, did we? There's Ojitai Exemplars. A Sunscorch Regent. Cast Through Time. And Ceremonious Rejection. Yeah, some really good stuff there. But we managed to edge our way into a victory. Even around a Narset Transcendent Emblem. So it might have been worth our opponent ticking up Narset again. 
and then going for the emblem the next turn, just leaving it another turn, because then they could have kept Narset in play and carried on trying to uh, edge out some kind of card advantage. But it wasn't to be this game, unfortunately, so managing to squeak out a really, really sketchy victory with Merin of Clan Neltoth. I'm Tribal Kai on the EDH channel. Thank you for watching.